In the summer of 2015, a volunteer collaboration between Alpena Community College and Grand Valley State University met in Alpena, Michigan to collect videographic data of shipwrecks in the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary on board the research vessel Nancy Kay. The following footage is from the build section of the course freight carrier James Davison. The James Davison was a record-setting vessel during its short life on the Great Lakes. Built in 1874 for owner James Davison in Bay City, Michigan, this two-deck wooden bulk freighter measured in with a length of 230 feet 6 inches, a 37-foot beam width, and depth of 19 feet 6 inches. Propelled by a combination of three masts and a single-cylinder low-pressure steam engine operating a single screw, the James Davison weighed in at 1,456 gross tons. On June 23, 1874, the James Davison was enrolled at Port Huron and thus began a career for the vessel lasting only seven years. On September 18, 1874, the James Davison cleared Chicago with 60,700 bushels of grain. A month later, on October 12, 1874, the James Davison was loaded with 110,000 bushels of oats in Buffalo and bound for Chicago. The captain claimed 101,315 bushels, the largest cargo ever carried on the Great Lakes to that point. In 1877, the vessel was refastened and bishop arches were added for additional strength and capacity. Four years later, the James Davison was sold to St. Clair Navigation Company in East China, Michigan. In September of 1881, the James Davison left Duluth, Minnesota with 49,000 bushels of wheat, the largest load ever taken out of the port by a single vessel at that time. On October 4th, the Davison was bound for Duluth from Buffalo with the barge Middlesex in tow when it ran aground on the southern end of Thunder Bay Island, severely damaging the vessel. A month later, documents were surrendered and the Davison was abandoned. Currently, the wreck of the Davison rests in 35 feet of water in Lake Huron, just south of Thunder Bay Island in the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. The remnants of the vessel have since broken into two pieces a portion of the hall, and the bilge section.